Hi everyone, this is Min from On a Stamp Page. I've had a lot of questions about starting a blog and so I thought that I would share a few short videos with different ways that you can use Blogger to create your own blog. The first step that you're going to need to do is to go to blogger.com and use a Gmail address to create a Blogger profile and I have already done that here. And so this is showing you that we're on our Blogger dashboard. And as you can see right here, I have a deleted blog. I was trying to do this video earlier and it went too long. But the first step after you create your Blogger profile to create a blog is to click on this new blog button over here to your left. And when you do that, you're going to be prompted to add a title. So I'm going to call this min test 2 And then you'll try different domains. So let's see if min test is available. It says it is not. And in my other video, I already went through a whole bunch. So I know which ones are not. I know that min test 2 is. And since that's the name of my blog, it really helps. If you, the name of your blog is not available, something that you can do is you can just add a year. You can add numbers. Um, you could add your name to it. That's what I ended up having to do on my personal blog. You can choose your template here, but you can also change your template at any time. So it's easiest to just hit create blog after you have your title and your address set up. It'll bring up a dialog, say that it's creating your blog. And as soon as it's done, it will show up here on your dashboard. So right here it'll ask you if you want to start posting, but we're going to dismiss this real quick because I want to share with you how to navigate your uh, Blogger dashboard. And then I'll come back with another video later that shows you how to format your blog and do other things. If you have specific questions that you'd like answered, please leave those in the comments and I will try to get to those as well. So this is linked to where you it will take you to your overview. It's asking you if you want to find a domain. This is going to be something that you will have to pay for, so if that's not something that you're interested in, you can just dismiss that. Your overview is going to show you your stats, so this is going to show you right here how many page views you've had. What you're going to want to do to begin with is you're going to go into more stats, and you're going to click do not track your own page views then click don't track my page views and save. The reason that you're going to do that is because you're going to want to see how many people are coming to your blog and if it's tracking you that's not giving you an accurate accounting of who is visiting your blog or how many visits you have. So we've got we're in the overview we're in the um, and we don't have any stats right now because our blog is not technically up and running okay so once we start doing that, we'll check in to our overview. We're going to go back here to our overview. And here on the left side is where all of your tools are going to be for upkeep of your blog, where you get all your uh, statistics and all of that, OK? So after you look at your overview, we're going to go down here to posts. This is where you will create posts. You can do that by clicking create new post. You can do that by clicking your uh, little pencil button. And if we go back to our dashboard, you can do that from your dashboard by clicking the pencil as well. Okay. So I'm going to go back and forth between these two tabs now. So we're in posts. When you create a post, you can hit publish it. And it will show you over here, I wish that I had some posted now. Let's do a test post. So we're clicking, we're creating a post. So this is test one. This is a test post. Okay. So when you're happy with that, you can label it however you want to. So if you're doing a crafting blog, you could label this as card. You could label it with a style of card with the different things that you've used. Each label needs to be separated by a comma. So I'm going to say that this is a test post. So all of my test posts I will have test as my label. You could schedule it for a different time or you can automatically publish it. To set it for the date and time you just click here. You choose the day that you want it and then you go in here and you choose the time that you want it to be scheduled for.
but we're just going to have ours be at automatic. This permalink right here is going to give you the link back to your actual post. This is not your blog address. This is the address to your post. This is an important feature to know, especially if you are someone who is crafting and wanting to link your creations up on a challenge. This right here, this is the link that you are going to use to link up your creations on blog challenges. Okay. You can choose, you can add a location. You can choose whether or not you allow comments. Okay. Whether or not you want to have HTML shown literally or if you want to interpret the typed HTML. If you interpret the typed HTML, that's going to mean that you're going to have an HTML view, which I'll show you in a second. That's really difficult, so just don't do that. Okay. The HTML view will look like this. This says this is a test post, but say that I wanted this to be centered and bolded. I can just do that with my dashboard up here, but this is what the HTML looks like, okay? So unless you're confident that you can write in HTML, always use the Compose view. So now we're going to publish this. And see, we have this test. Here's our label. So if we had 50 posts and three of them had test, we could click on test and it would show our posts filtered as tests. Okay. I'm going to go back for a second. Oops. Sorry about that. So this has been published. So this is our published post. If we wanted to, we're going to go in one more time. We're going to do test post 02 another test do the same thing we can make it we can make it centered we'll do italic this time we're going to label it as test and as you can see this label already comes up so i'm going to click it done now this one i'm going to schedule i'm going to schedule it for tomorrow at the same time and i'm going to click done and then i'm going to click publish now you can see I have my test 01, I have my test post 2, both are labeled with test. This one says scheduled. This one is not going to be posted until tomorrow at the same time. So you can schedule posts ahead of time, which is really, really, really good for craft posters who are on design teams. And then over here, I have all of my posts. I have two. I could click to see just my scheduled posts. I can click to just see my published posts. That's all I'm going to share with you today. Those are the basics of creating a blog and sharing. And before we go, I want to just show you what we have so far on our blog. So far, we have a simple template, which we will learn next time how to modify. We have our title. We have our test post that has a label. And we just have the basic sidebars that Blogger gives to us, our profile and our blog archive. Next time I'm going to show you how to add things to your sidebar, create a different look with your template all using Blogger. So I hope that you've enjoyed this. I hope that you have learned something new if you're new to blogging or thinking about starting blogging. So until next time, happy blogging friends!